I'm Paul McClennan. I'm one of the statistical editors here at the American Journal of Transplantation. Today, I'm going to give a short presentation on time-dependent covariates and sub-distribution hazard models. Outcomes in medical research are often subject to competing risks. These are events that preclude the occurrence of the primary outcome of interest. In survival analysis, there is an assumption of non-informative censoring, and censoring subjects that have had a competing risk event may violate this assumption. The fine gray subdistribution hazard regression model permits estimation of time invariant covariates on the cumulative incidence of the event in the presence of competing risk. The fine gray model is an extension of the Cox model to analyze the cumulative incidence function. It allows, estimation, it allows estimation of the effect of covariates on the cumulative incidence function for the event of interest. Subjects that experience a competing risk event are retained in the risk set. Time varying covariates um, can be defined as covariates whose value can change during follow up. There are two general types. Uh, external time dependent um, covariates are external to the subject. These covariates can affect the failure process, but are not otherwise involved in the failure mechanism. Uh, there are two types, external defined. Uh, these are defined for all subjects prior to the beginning of the study. And external ancillary, uh, these are due to a round, random process that is independent of subject characteristics. The overwhelming majority of time-varying covariates uh, considered in medical research are internal time-dependent covariates. Uh, they're measured on the subject and can affect the failure process directly and may also be impacted by the failure mechanism. For example, such uh, variables include biomarkers, uh, medication use, uh, either current or cumulative dose, uh, body weight, income, marital status, and hypertension status. Inclusion, inclusion of external time-varying covariates results in an inability to make claims that a covariate's effects on the subdistribution hazard has the same directionality of effect on the cumulative incidence function. Inclusion of internal time-varying covariates uh, results in an inability to estimate the cumulative incidence function or the effect of the covariates on the cumulative incidence function. Um, the definition of the risk set for the subdistribution hazard function makes defining internal time-varying covariates difficult or impossible. Uh, one uh, analytical approach is the landmark approach. Uh, a landmark time or times are chosen by the investigators. Subjects that are failure-free and under follow-up at the landmark time are included. That is, the, uh, the landmark time uh, and inclusion in the landmark period is conditional on survival until the landmark time. Internal time-dependent variables are defined according to subject experience prior to the landmark point. The outcome variable is then compared. Uh, Gainer et al., uh, in a recently published AJT uh, manuscript, uh, reported the importance of avoiding time-dependent bias when testing the pro prognostic value of an intervening event. Uh, one of the uh, suggested methods that they detailed was the landmark approach used for a traditional Cox model. Uh, Ennis uh, and others in a recently accepted AJT uh, manuscript uh, looked at specific HLK-DQ risk epitope mismatches and their association with chronic lung allograft dysfunction after lung transplant. Uh, in one of their analyses, they used a multivariable fine gray competing risk model to derive subdistribution HRs, hazard ratios, uh, for time to chronic lung allograft dysfunction. 
lung L graft dysfunction without CLAD or death were analyzed as competing risk events. Um, they used a landmark approach where time-dependent variables were added to the final model from transplant until the landmark time point, that is 12 months post-transplant. The time-dependent variables that they included were the presence of DSA, cumulative A-grade rejection score, score, cumulative positive BAL infection score, and need for plasma phoresis. So in summary, well-defined external type dependent covariate, time dependent covariates may be included in the fine grain model. However, careful interpretation is necessary because estimated regression coefficients no longer describe the association between covariate and cumulative incidence function. Extreme caution is recommended when including internal time dependent covariates because defining these variables is difficult or impossible for subjects that have experienced a competing event, and HRs thus may be misleading. A landmark analysis approach restricted to those that survive at landmark time may be used to model the instance of outcome conditional on survival. Some of the references that I relied on for this presentation include the paper by Gaynor and others, uh, the recently accepted manuscript by Annis and others, and a review uh, paper by uh, Austin, uh, Latouche, and Fine. Thank you for your time.